and get a balanced answer, maybe smart answers, maybe confident answers. There are multiple kind of answers that you can give. So we'll work on them. I have some situations also that can lead to tough interview experiences. But uh, at the end of the day, it's basically the same thing. If you have prepared well, like you are preparing right now, uh, it will be a smooth progress. You can definitely manage it. Okay, so let's go ahead with whatever we have here. Number one is that um, the reasons why interviews become tough, the questions become tough for an interviewee is are, are primarily three. Like basically there can be a stress of the interview that is already there before the interview started or once uh, before the interview started or even after the interview started. Sometimes the situations just uh, make a person go bonkers and not be able to answer those questions. Also, there might be a lack of preparation. Preparation in terms of content, preparation in terms of uh, the mind being made up, preparation in terms of uh, personality and all those things. So they, they can also play an important role there. Having said that, I would like to impress upon uh, the point of luck as well. Why luck? Sometimes it has been seen that an interviewee is taking an interview of a particular candidate. The experience does not go well. His mood is spoiled. He did not get what he expected. And now suddenly he is taking out all that anger and frustration and irritation on candidate number two who came after the first candidate. The first candidate's a decision destiny has been made already rejected but also he's going to bear the after effects of the previous interview so that is not done i mean it's that's why it's called luck he had no role to play in that except to have a name that came after that person in the serial number so hmm, can't help it but that is how it happened so these are the ways that uh, things can become tough for the interviewee but it's okay you will definitely get to learn like how to manage uh, once the ball st starts rolling. It will be quite some time before you can get the hang of how interviews are not exactly what you thought them to be. They are uh, more of a mixture of parameters and factors that result in a particular situation. Nothing is, for, nothing is guaranteed, nothing is for sure. It can go good, it can go bad, it can go anyway. I'm still asking if you have any kind of uh, questions uh, tough questions, tedious questions that you are afraid of, just put them in the chat box and I'll see what I, it can what can be done. Hmm? All right, so let's take uh, this uh, thing a step further and uh, wait for some people before this uh, we can take uh, up and the tough questions. The tough questions can be categorized in three terms, uh, subject wise tough questions, uh, the questions about yourself that can become tough and the situational questions that are quite tedious in nature like they haven't happened they will happen sometime in the future but you are being asked to think about it right now so critical thinking and troubleshooting crisis handling those are the skills that the interviewers look for when they ask the situational questions so these are the tough type of questions now when you think about the tough questions throughout your career they have been in projects in presentations in internships how does it matter now okay in this case marks are not at stake um, internship is not at stake what happens is that people take too much take too much of the stress that my job depends on this see the job that you are thinking of is a fictional job you don't have it right now it's a possible probable job you might get it you might not get it but the invisible job is putting so much stress on you that having cleared the written round the gd round the video resume round and you are stuck at this point with imaginary fears what if i don't get it if you don't get it you don't get it these thought processes make the questions tough for example if you give a person an electric shock and then ask him what is the temperature outside <laughs> he is not going to be able to say that or maybe if the person has been uh, on a very rough journey and then he comes down from the bus or the train and then you ask him like how was the journey he's shaken he doesn't want to talk about it so definitely those questions seem tough so the 
the strategy that you need to have before you step into a tough interview is to loosen up your brain you know relax and take it easy you will have to think of the whole process as being a very natural and normal thing once you do that your mind is at ease there are multiple ways to loosen up your mind you can uh, have something your some of your favorite food to eat maybe a chocolate maybe something sweet maybe something not so sweet whatever is your favorite food have it your mind gets relaxed when it gets its favorite food or talk to someone who you really like to talk to that will put your mind at ease you can also find some sort of a calmness and soothing experience by listening to uh, tracks or voices or sounds that you rain sounds for example or some person uh, some persons who live uh, near the railway track they would you know just like to listen to recorded train sounds Ooh, maybe that will put their mind at ease so what i'm doing right now is trying to see trying to do the correction in the headquarters where you actually process these questions where these normal questions become tough I'll show you when we progress through this presentation and my uh, session that very normal questions when asked with a little bit different tone or a high volume or maybe a different way that results in like totally different uh, elicit totally different responses from the candidate. The candidate starts feeling pressurized by that. Apologies again. Questions whose answers you don't know if they are from your subject in engineering or they are from a subject which you study like maybe management maybe anything i was trying to have this session ex uh, explicitly for uh, the engineering students but it's okay if you even you are from a different uh, kind of a background okay so let us look at this situation about uh, answers of a subject that you don't know best st strategy for this is to go ahead and admit it yes i don't know the answer to this question but if that happens like two to three times it becomes a blot on your record on the experience that you had so you can't keep repeating i don't know i don't know you'll have to take it uh, to some other way like uh, this is something that i had studied in my first semester but with time i have forgotten it but uh, rest assured if i'm given opportunity if i am assigned the task to do something in there on this uh, on the on a project i will not fail you i'll definitely gather the information one number two uh, number two wait how to handle the questions whose answers you don't know with respect to academic training and projects okay so you can say that uh, i do not know the answer to this presently but i have the tools and techniques to get you the answer in the fastest and most accurate pattern or way possible when compared to all of the candidates okay i have that amount of skills to search for validate and present the answer in a very individual way okay so you said no but with panache so that is what will be appreciated answers that you're not totally sure about what do you do with them you can uh, show it i mean there is no way faking it with fake confidence like the answer to this question is this though you had you're not sure so you can say that. um i you can answer with these words i have an inkling that the answer to this question is this and then the person will strike back you're not sure no sir i'm not sure but almost uh, in that area in that zone see this is an interview is not a test of how much you have mugged up in the last four years it is not it is just to see whether you have the temperament the attitude the aptitude to learn and to be flexible show that and they will hire you if you keep on giving them the impression that like i uh, i know everything but right now i don't know them then they will say that this person is a pompous fake person who is uh, bragging and showing confidence that he really does not possess and we don't want him they are never going to build on what you learned in your four years in btech whenever the, these people hire you they usually go for such kind of areas where they teach you something entirely new new programming languages new software new technology anything that is new so they don't want whether you have already learned it or not they want to see whether you can learn it fast or not if you demonstrate that capability to learn fast you are in you are taken you are hired yeah so for these two kind of questions the questions whose answers you don't know and answers what you are not sure about these are the two strategies that i just suggested if you have any other questions like okay you are totally stuck 
uh, with a academic question which is very normal for example an IT sector person is asked what is the difference between a calic and a mallet you have already written C++ in your resume and they ask you this oops question what's the difference between a calic and a malic and you respond like I'm not sure then there is a problem because this is very very sure at this point of time what do you do because this is a session to help you how to manage the whole crisis all right I'll tell you so at this point of situation you need to give a laugh and you need to smile it's so funny that I mean it's such an easy question which I could have answered but I appear to have taken some amount of stress around me right now. It is very palpable. It's the pandemic year. It's the year of layoffs. I'm not able to recollect that exact point. So smile and admit it that you don't, you have, you have just not been able to recover that answer from your memory. Admit it. No problem. I mean, it happens like if, if you, if you put a person in like really cold water and ask him, what's your dad's name? And like his focus will be to get out of the cold water first and then remember his dad's name. So he's not going to be worried about it. I'm trying to do something of this in a little bit of Hindi and Urdu as well. So if you have any interview in the interview, that you don't know the answer to the question, you get scared at that time. And sometimes you don't know the answer to the question, and sometimes you don't know the answer to the question. So there are two ways to give the answer. Number one, if you don't know the answer to the question, then at that time you have to say, that I knew this thing, I learned this thing, I could tell this thing, but at this time, at this time, at this time, at this time, मेरे जहन में ये बात नहीं आ रही है और इसको बताने से मैं फिलहाल मैं काबिल नहीं हूँ आप जरा मुझको अगर टाइम देते हैं लाइक मेरे पास में वो काबिलियत है मेरे पास में वो सलाहियत है कि मैं इसको फिर से जा करके ढूंढ कर ला करके आपको बता सकता हूँ ये मैं कर सकता हूँ और इस मामले में यही जो मेरे अंदर में फन है मेरे अंदर में जो ये क्वालिटी है तो इसके वजह से देखिएगा कि जब मैं आपका एम्प्लॉय बनूंगा तो सबसे तेज सीखने वाला मैं रहूंगा क्योंकि उस वक्त टेस्ट की जरूरत नहीं होगी बल्कि सीखने की जरूरत होगी और उसमें मैं बहुत अच्छा हूं कोई नई चीज सीखने के मामले में बहुत अच्छा हूं और ये चीज जो अभी आपने पूछा है सर ये मैंने तीन साल पहले पढ़ा था जाहिर सी बात है मैं एकदम भूल चुका हूं और इसको भी मैं बता नहीं पाऊंगा अनदर आंसर लाइक दूसरा जो है कि आपको अच्छी तरह से नहीं मालूम तो उसमें आप ये बताएंगे कि मुझको ऐसा लग रहा है कि इसका आंसर ये हो सकता है जब आप ये बोलेंगे तो दो चीज होगा कि सामने वाला बोलेगा कि आपको अच्छा ठीक है आपका आंसर सही है और ज्यादा बदला लेने के मूड में होगा तो वो बोलेगा कि क्या आप बिल्कुल श्योर नहीं है तो उस वक्त में आप मुस्कुरा दीजिएगा स्माइल इज द बेस्ट वेपन इन एन इंटरव्यू इट रिलैक्सेस यू एंड इट ट्रिक्स द अदर पर्सन इन टू बिलीविंग दैट यू आर रियली स्ट्रॉन्ग पर्सन विच यू आर मे बी एट मेनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ओके नाउ वेन यू हैव डन दीज टू थिंग्स uh the other thing that uh, what might happen when the person is uh, looks at you and you are not totally sure about is that person can form an opinion about you that he you don't know at which point of time you have already explained that uh, i'm not supposed to be a know it all i am just trying to see how things can be made good next are the questions related to yourself आपके बारे में कोई कोई क्वेश्चंस इस तरह से पूछे जा सकते हैं जिसमें आपको परेशानी हो सकती है बताने में तो क्या हो सकती है क्या क्या क्वेश्चन हो सकते हैं वो आ, वो क्वेश्चंस कुछ इस तरह से हैं आ, देख लें कि उसमें से कुछ क्वेश्चन तो टफ क्वेश्चन है ही नहीं बहुत इजी क्वेश्चन है जरा से तैयारी के साथ जरा से प्रेपरेशन के साथ में आप उसको जर, जरूर जवाब दे सकते हैं टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ वाई शुड वी हायर यू वॉट आर यू से सैलरी एक्सपेक्टेशन तो कोई आप पूछेगा भी नहीं क्योंकि उन लोग खुद देने के मूड में नहीं है आ, तो इस तरह से वो बात आपके ऊपर आएगी ही नहीं अगर आप ऑफ कैंपस ट्राई कर रहे हैं तो सैलरी एक्सपेक्टेशन आपसे अगर पूछ भी लिया तो इसको टफ ना समझे इसको बोले एज पर इंडस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड्स ये बोल करके छोड़ दें राइट सो द क्वेश्चन दैट माइट पुट यू इन अ टफ पोजिशन uh and some more if you want to tell me ask me you can put it in the chat box so what is your greatest strength what is greatest weakness why do you want to leave your uh, internship why do you want this job how do you handle stress and pressure so ye sab questions jo aapke bare mein hai ye zara tough isliye lag rahe hain kyunki isme aisa lag raha hai ki aapko sach bolna padega to jab aap ye soch lete hain ki mujhko sach sach sab kuch bata dena hai to fir ek ghabrahat aati ki ye baat kaise bata do agar main ye bata dunga to mere bare mein impression hi galat ho jayega to main isko bata nahi sakta to theek hai mat bataye is situation mein aap yu kare ki aap 
nearest possible easy answer ye bata de for example if they ask you like what is your greatest strength instead of bragging about like a hard working nature this that etc greatest strength you can transfer it to being a, to a human being for example my brother is my greatest uh, strength you can also say that uh, my mom is my greatest strength you can also say that uh, my teachers were my greatest strength agar tumko lag raha hum humne tumhari zindagi mein kuch kiya hai to because they taught me many things beyond the subject and ye zaruri nahi ki tumhare andar ki quality itna matlab ghisa pita ye question hai ki iske sab answers hr logon ne sun liya hai ab main jab aapko ye sab answers bata raha hu to zara se isko aap yun samajhe ke ye answer aur bhi bahut sare log abhi sun rahe honge zoom pe nahi lekin jab ye youtube pe jayega to log sunenge aur isko shayad note kar le to isme aapko zara variation lana padega zara se change lana padega iska simple funda ye hai ki wo answer mat do जो पहले से दिया जा चुका है और जो घिस पिट चुका है अगर पहले से दिया जा चुका है लेकिन ज्यादा लोग नहीं दिए हैं और आपको अपने कॉन्फिडेंस पे भरोसा है कि आपको आप इस तरह से इसको डिलीवर करोगे कि सामने वाला कन्विंस हो जाएगा तो ठीक है फिर आप इसको ले सकते हैं इसके बारे में आप बातचीत कर सकते हैं इसको जिस तरह से हैंडल करना चाहें कर सकते हैं फोर्थ क्वेश्चन जो व्हाट इज योर ग्रेटेस्ट वीकनेस है इसमें बहुत सारे लोग फंस जाते हैं वो सोचते हैं कि भैया हमने तो अब इसमें पूरा पूरा सच सच अपना वीकनेस बता देना तो ये समझ लें कि द पर्सन हु इज इंटरव्यूइंग यू इज योर इंटरव्यूअर इज योर रिक्रूटर नॉट योर साइकेट्रिस्ट रिक्रूटर साइकेट्रिस्ट राइट रिक्रूटर बट नॉट योर साइकेट्रिस्ट यू टेल द प्रॉब्लम टू योर साइकेट्रिस्ट मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है मुझको वैसा लग रहा है मेरी खामी ये है मेरी कमी ये है यू डोंट टेल दैट टू योर रिक्रूटर वो खुश होकर के आपको हायर नहीं करने वाला और रही आपके अंदर में ये कामिया है चलो भाई मैं तो आपको हायर कर ही लूंगा नॉट हैपनिंग तो उस तरह से मत कीजिएगा कभी कभी अभी जो हमारे कुछ बच्चे इंटर्नशिप कर रहे हैं वो लोग इंटर्नशिप के टाइम पे जरा जा करके जो है कहीं कहीं पे इंटरव्यू देंगे तो उनसे पूछा जा सकता आप तो ऑलरेडी इंटर्नशिप कर रहे हैं पेड इंटर्नशिप है आपका आप क्यों छोड़ना चाहते हैं अपना इंटर्नशिप तो आपने उस वक्त में ये बताना है कि राइट नो आई मीन इंटर्नशिप एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू लास्ट फॉर अनदर सिक्स मंथ बाई विच टाइम आई विल हैव लर्न ऑल दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड इफ इन केस I am interested to switch my vertical. I want to change my position to something else. Then I would like to, you know, go ahead and uh, uh, look for a position in your company which values some of the skills that I possess. I would love to see those skills. See, I have two skills: skill A and skill B. Now, in skill A. is something that is being utilized by my internship right now but skill b is something that i really want to explore and exploit at some point of time and your company does that i want to see myself exploring uh, skill number b in your company this is the way you can answer your uh, internship leaving question okay i i will not repeat it because it's getting recorded so you can uh, rewind and watch it why do you want this job is another question that you might get so basically the correct answer cannot be told to anyone like bhai naukri karna hi karna hai nahi to puri society hum par thukegi pura sansar hamare upar mein thik dhik karega dhitkar karega ye sab bolna nahi hai obviously you will have to say something that matches the expectations of the employer everyone loves uh, flattery everyone loves this thing but the flattery has to be convincing aapko agar kisi ki tareef karni hai aap usko company wale ki और कंपनी की तारीफ करनी है तो जरा कन्विंसिंग वे में ऐसे तरीके से करना है कि उसको भरोसा आ जाए कि हाँ भाई इसने कोई ज्यादा मस्का नहीं मारा बात इसने सही की है उसका तरीका कुछ ये है आप यूं बोल सकते हैं मैंने ग्लास डोर पे एम्प्लॉय रिव्यूज पढ़े थे ऑप्शन नंबर वन ऑप्शन टू मैंने अपने बड़े भैया से बात किया जो ऑलरेडी आपके कंपनी में काम कर चुका है ठीक है बड़ा भैया कौन हो सकता है कजिन कजिन का दोस्त कोई भी मतलब एनी वे एनी वन कैन बी बड़े भैया ओके नंबर थ्री माई सीनियर्स हु हैव बीन वर्किंग इन योर कंपनी फॉर द लास्ट टू फॉर द लास्ट टू ईयर्स दे हैव टोल्ड मी एंड दिस हैज टू बी परफेक्ट बिकॉज देन दे माइट आस्क यू लाइक ओके वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ दैट एम्प्लॉय विच लोकेशन आई नो एवरी वन इन दॉट लोकेशन वट्स इज नेम फंस जाओगे तो पहले से तैयारी रखना सही सही ठीक है सीनियर का नाम लेकर के और सीनियर ने नहीं भी बताया तो कम से कम सीनियर का नाम पता होना चाहिए कि कौन है कि दैट यू कैन डू okay chats coming started to come 
what will be the situation to cut to cut answer to the weakness question <laughs> okay animesh i'll come to that uh, how do you handle stress ha to ye do hua नंबर एक मैंने ग्लास डोर पे मैंने कोरा पे पढ़ा है नंबर टू मेरे बड़े भैया पर्सनल रिलेटिव फ्रेंड नंबर थ्री सीनियर इन माय कॉलेज ओके ये कर सकते हो या फिर ये बता सकते हो कि आई हैव बीन इन माय अलमनाई मीट्स वेर आई हैव हर्ड पीपल बीइंग वेरी हैप्पी विथ योर कंपनी द वर्क कल्चर द एनवायरमेंट द पर्स द सैलरी द प्रोमोशन स्कीम द अप्रेजल द काइंड ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट्स ऑल दीज थिंग्स दे कैन मेक सेंस इन दैट केस या चलो देन द नेक्स्ट टफ क्वेश्चन इज वाई डू यू वॉन्ट दिस जॉब वाई डू यू वॉन्ट दिस जॉब इज अ क्वेश्चन दैट सॉरी दिस इज वॉट आई टोल्ड राइट सॉरी हाउ डू यू हैंडल स्ट्रेस एंड प्रेशर स्ट्रेस एंड प्रेशर इज बेसिकली दिस इज अ लाइव क्वेश्चन दे विल सी हाउ यू आर हैंडलिंग स्ट्रेस एंड प्रेशर एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो यू हैव टू डाइवर्ट यू हैव टू टेक अप टॉक अबाउट स्ट्रेस एंड प्रेशर इन एन एंटायरली डिफरेंट सिचुएशन यू कैन क्लेम इफ यू आर सी आई एम नॉट गिविंग यू वन सिंगल आंसर बिकॉज यू हु आर लिसनिंग टू मी आर नॉट वन सिंगल पर्सन दे कैन बी हंड्रेड टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट पर्सनैलिटीज ऑल ऑफ यू विल हैव डिफरेंट एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑल ऑफ यू हैव डिफरेंट सेट ऑफ स्किल्स एंड expertise so i can't give you a single answer to match all your expectation i'm telling you a brief spectrum of approaches that you can have to this kind of a question right so what you can do is to by st for stress handling stress and pressure you can say that so when i am in a uh, under a deadline moment that is when the best comes out of me i work best under stress i have seen that in my projects in my assignments in my exams and even to the point of my internship where the company or the where i was interning they wanted me to <coughs> submit or something on a very short notice which was not exactly my responsibility neither was uh, i was expected to do that but still in order to um, match up to the requirements of the internship i did that in fact i have come to believe that i work the best when i am under stress ye ek dialogue mar sakte ho to sab ka nahi ho sakta lihaza uske liye ek aur approach how to manage stress and pressure तो अब अ जेनेरिक स्ट्रेस एंड प्रेशर फॉर एग्जांपल सर आई आई वाज अ वेरी काम एंड कूल पर्सन बट आफ्टर द पैंडमिक स्टार्टेड आई स्टार्टेड गेटिंग दोज काइंड ऑफ स्ट्रेस सिचुएशंस और आई स्टार्टेड टू पासिंग थ्रू फेजेस ऑफ स्ट्रेस हाउ एवर इन द मंथ ऑफ मे आई इनकल्केटेड सर्टेन प्रैक्टिस एंड हैबिट्स इन साइड मी विच ब्रॉट डाउन माई स्ट्रेस लेवल्स एंड आई शेयर दम वन वन बाई वन द नंबर वन थिंग दैट आई डेड वॉज टू डू अ डिजिटल डी टॉक्स आई स्टेड अवे फ्रॉम ऑल सॉर्ट ऑफ स्क्रीन एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर अराउंड फोर or 5 hours a day at which point of time i used to read uh, books that were of nature that were of nature that i used to study when i was in my school that calmed me down that soothed me down so that was one thing the another thing that i did was to help people and that brought me out of my egocentric shell and i i started talking about things that are were of a nature uh, that uh, that were that were more universal than individual and that way my stress was got distributed among everyone not just myself i could manage it this was another approach that i had but the the best thing this is the best answer for stress and pressure you say that uh, sir i am not able to handle stress and pressure after a certain limit i can do it for a uh, for a particular period of time for example of uh, until june and july i was able to handle the stress that um, i and my friends were going to about the kind of uncertainty around our jobs but then i i, I got Uh, uh to the point where it was no more manageable and we started panicking and uh, things happened however it's better now because uh, you know, i mean great people or companies or uh, esteemed companies like you have started visiting us and it is uh, things are uh, getting to back to normal and the stress and pressure is getting to handle i'm a normal person sir i don't claim superhuman powers that i can manage all sorts of stress and pressure so i gave you three answers on how to manage a stress and pressure question okay not a stress question that i'll handle next in the next uh, sunday uh, bulletin let's call it that next sunday I'll, i'm going to do another ask me anything thing and that i'm going to tell you how to match in first <clears throat> uh the last one i like this part where uh, hypothetical questions become tough for people and behavioral question what if questions all these questions are like what if questions and they become a stressful point like isko kaise bataye ये बड़ा टफ क्वेश्चन है अरे टफ क्वेश्चन नहीं है ये हुआ ही नहीं है सिचुएशन तो उसका लोड लेने की क्या जरूरत है तो आपको उसके बारे में टफ तब टेंशन आना चाहिए कि जब वो एक्चुअली हो चुका है 
ठीक है सो नंबर वन मैनेजेरियल सिचुएशन मैनेजेरियल सिचुएशन ऐसा है कि जब उसमें ये पूछा जाए कि अगर आप एक कंपनी में मैनेजर हैं और आपको ऐसा ऐसा सामने में आपके आता है तो आप क्या करोगे हम्म या फिर लाइफ और डेथ चॉइसेस लाइक आपको एक सिचुएशन दे दिया जाएगा आप दो लोग बड़े टेंशन में हैं और आपको दोनों मतलब क्रिटिकल डेंजर में हैं और उसमें से सिर्फ एक को आप बचा सकते हैं तो आप किसको बचाओगे दैट माइट बी ए सिचुएशन और या फिर पार्टनर सिलेक्शन आप किस टाइप के पर्सन को अपना लाइफ पार्टनर बनाना पसंद करते हो सो दीज आर हाइपोथेटिकल सिचुएशन राइट नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू टेक दैट डिसीशन इट इज purely imaginary okay so if it is imaginary what are the checking then what is being tested they are testing your capacity your capability to process information analyze situation and take a decision it nahi hai so what need to it needs to be done here with a little room for uh, little room for maneuvering you need to take a balanced approach you just can't uh, say that okay um i'll do this you'll have to get to the reasoning part you'll have to give some reasonings as to why you are uh, you have a particular uh, approach you have a particular uh, decision to be taken you just go, don't go plainly into that uh, managerial situation suppose your senior is asking you to lie for the company are you going to do that will you lie for your company now this is a hypothetical situation you're not yet an employee your senior has not asked you to uh, tell a lie already then why are you taking uh, being made to take the decision cannot you don't have to do that yeah uh, so what would you do you will have to show something that will impress that person but also be very very practical you said no sir i will not lie for the company that is not within my league you will have to give a diplomatic answer what are diplomatic answers diplomatic answers are the ones that satisfy the corporate as well as the government you will have to say that okay fine i uh, i will take care of the interest of the company but i will not break any law i will not i will not commit a crime for the company that is not in my uh, that is not within my control okay that's not my duty to commit a crime but i'll try to salvage the situation as best as possible so these are the managerial situations that you might get where you will have to steer clear of admitting to commit a crime and also assure that the company that you are not going to put the company in any kind of a financial danger or crisis number 2 life and death choices so there would be like you are in a boat and another person is drowning you don't know how to swim will you rescue that person or let the person die and you don't have any life jacket this that etc so so what are you going to do in which case you will have to uh, logically extrapolate the whole thing and say that under this circumstances i believe that i can go ahead and uh, rescue this person using some techniques that i already know or i'll hold the person's hand until we reach the shore and this and that so there are things that you can do but without having to admit how this thing went wrong the last thing that you have to take care of is uh, basically um, partner selections partner selection is something <clears throat> which you must have already sorted out you must have a personality profile that you already uh, go with and how you are going to uh, uh, put that into practice okay uh, so we'll pause a little bit here hmm so i was talking about the partner selection and this is quite uh, uh, natural that you can manage to do it because uh, you already must have thought and there is nothing that you need to have achieve in that case so these are the three cases uh, that i have come up i have one more thing but i'll postpone it for another youtube live situation the time tested tension questions okay so wait for my next youtube uh, version and that that is where we will do it all right ask your questions over the phone this is my phone number and uh, i'll i'll be waiting for your questions so that i can prepare the answers to them and get going okay and take care and see you on the other side of a job hunt Bye